Next, I'm going to set up a mortgage that's associated with this property. To do that, I click on Add an Account. Because this is a mortgage, uh, it is a loan, so you click on Loan. I'm going to choose Bank of America again. Again, you're prompted with this option to enter a username and password. Um, if you do have a, an account with your mortgage company and you want to enter this information, you can. Uh, again, for this example, I'm a, and for my personal preference, I like entering this information manually. So I'm going to click on this link here. So give this loan a name. I'm going to call this 123 Smith Mortgage. This is a mortgage. Uh, and let's just say the opening date was February 1st and the original balance, let's just say I mortgaged 75% of it, so 375. Uh, put in your exact uh, interest rate here because it will automatically figure out what your payments are. So for example, I'm gonna put 4.25, oops, delete that out of there. Uh, we're gonna make this a, a standard 30 year mortgage, compounded, interest, uh, compounded monthly with a monthly payment uh, and the current balance is still 375. If you had a different balance, you can enter that here. Uh, it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, and there you go. It automatically figured out what my monthly payment is. As you can see, this is only your principal and interest. Uh, so in, in the next screen are taxes, any PMI that you may have, any insurance that you may have, and, and other expenses. So let's click Next. So here we go, next payment due, um, we're going to say it's on the 1st. You can enter your, figure out what your escrow is and just uh, enter that in here so that it automatically adjusts your payment. So for example, let's say you have an escrow payment of uh, $234.15. As you can see, it automatically uh, changed my, sub, my mortgage payment. Um, it's in, this is an easy way to just add your escrow to the, um, to the uh, mortgage payment. You can also add extra monthly print, uh, principal if you uh, if you do choose to do that. I like to enter my uh, taxes and insurance in another place, so I'm going to zero this out, and I'll show you how to do that. Click next. Uh, this screen lets you uh, automatically enter the transaction to your register on the seventh day if you choose. Um, I like to enter the payment manually, so um, I'm going to click next. And now we're at this screen. So we can see the loan payment reminder. So every month it's gonna remind me that I, I have a payment. And right now it's set to $1,844.77. Uh, it's gonna deduct from my rental property checking account. Uh, and now I'm going to add the taxes and insurance to my, my payment. So for me to do that, I'm gonna click on the split button. And I'm gonna click on the split button again. And now you can see that it presents you with all these different categories that you can add um, additional uh, payment information to. So, uh, for example, let's say my property taxes are $253 per month and have a property insurance of um, $123 a month. And let's say I have a PMI payment of $80 a month. If I were to hit, click on adjust and now adjust my mortgage payment to include those amounts, what you want to do is make sure that this number here matches exactly what your mortgage payment is. And I also like to go through here and make sure I change these categories as well. All these categories should, should match up uh, with your rental property. So rental property, taxes, rental property, home insurance, After you're done, you click OK, and you click OK, and you click Done. Now we can link this asset to an asset account, which we've already added a property, so we're going to click on Existing Asset and 123 Smith Street. You click Done, and there you go. Now you can see that we have a property that's uh, $500,000 and that there's a property debt for 375. Now notice one thing here. Um, notice how 
this mortgage is not under the rental property tab. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this uh, 123 Smith Street mortgage. We're going to click on edit. We're going to click on display options. And we want to add this to our rental property. And click OK. And now this, this all matches up. So this property, 123 Smith Street, is associated to one, the 123 Smith Street mortgage and your net worth is auto calculated. So as of right now, you have a net worth of 127,000, which is the difference between the 500,000, the mortgage, and your $2,000 um, checking account. Next, we're gonna add tenants. 